Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, My Kinda Art, with me Ivan Florentino, and for today's video, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my work space and desk setup. I know I've never done this before, but last year, and actually the year before, I've been remodeling my room, I repainted it, it's all solid white, and I got a brand new desk. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I have all of my workspace set up for everything that I do when it comes to drawing, recording, and all of my laptop and computer stuff, my camera, my lighting, and all that stuff. So yeah, if you're interested in all of that, go ahead and check out this video. So usually when I do all of my art videos here on my channel, I have a pure white desk that I recently bought and this is really cool because it makes everything stand out, it makes everything look clean. And when I'm drawing and I have all my pencils, my materials, my iPad or my phone on there, everything is very bright and it makes everything stand out. And it's just aesthetically pleasing. And with so much sketchbooks and materials, different types of paper that I do, that I work on, it just works. The overhead view is so versatile and the placement is just, it's exactly what I was looking for. And the way my desk is set up, it's on the corner and it's an L-shaped desk. And what was cool, and it happened kind of by accident, was that I set up my camera right in the middle of the corner of my two walls right next to the window and it's perfect to have my camera set right above my drawing where I'm easily able to record myself drawing and doing any type of instruction video, any type of teaching, and it just works perfectly well. And not only do I have this LED light with both white and warm options when I'm drawing for extra light, I also have a window where I most of the time use the natural light and it perfectly surrounds and lights everything up in a way that makes everything visible when I'm editing my videos. And sometimes I use a variety of lights. For example, the light that you see right here. I also use the light in the room, the natural light in the window, I use a ring light and also a smaller LED light that I have as well. And with this setup, I have my rolling chair my desktop to the right with my keyboard and mouse. I do have my microphone ready for my voiceovers and my Canon camera right above me, my headphones. And I bought this large oversized mouse pad just to keep myself from having uncomfortable pain on my wrists and elbows and even my arms so that I can move the mouse just about anywhere that I want. And yeah, just the way that I have my LED light right here, I can angle it anywhere that I like, and especially when I'm drawing, where I can get the cleanest light possible. Because most of the time I do voiceovers, I usually have my window open, I have music playing in the background, and everything is muted when I'm editing, and I very rarely do ASMR. When I do have my window closed, and I do kind of want to have a video without any tutorials. And also to get some different angles, right in front of my desk, I like to sometimes prop up my iPhone on a tripod just to get a different angle sometimes and just have some variety of different shots. For example, I do like to record myself drawing sometimes and this is the one that I use for my Skillshare class that I did when I was drawing Yoda. And sometimes when I'm painting as well or just showing off some different materials, it's just a good angle to just have some variation. And there are also times when I have to record myself 
and I want it to be a nice quality, I do take out my camera, put it on a tripod and record myself. And this is where I do have a dark green wall in the background. It's my only accent wall that I have and everything else is white. And this is usually when I do all of my introduction videos for my Skillshare classes that I'm working on. And sometimes when I do want to have some tutorial videos with my face showing. And this is just how it looks like before everything is edited, when I'm doing takes after takes just to make sure everything is right. So yeah, everything that you guys have seen on my channel, everything from my arts and crafts, fan art, painting, drawing, all my digital art, anything that has to do with my iPad, pencils and pens, I've done everything on this desk. And with this setup, it just works perfectly for everything that I do. Once I set everything up, it just works and I haven't really changed much because it's just so versatile for what I do. And this is why my channel has a variety of mediums that I use because I like to try so many different things. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. I want to know in the comment section down below how your setup works and if you guys have any links to your channels I would like to see them. And if you guys do recommend any type of materials or tools that I might need that I haven't even thought of. If you're brand new to this channel, consider hitting the like button, ringing the bell, leaving a comment, and later, bye.